Well, over the past 24 hours here in London, there has been an increase in the number of people using public transport. Indeed, London Underground says there's been about a 10% jump in passengers during peak hours. And you can kind of get a sense why looking at the front page of the local commuter paper here. Back to work we go is the headline. And that is the real sentiment in the capital for a number of people that are slowly starting to return to their jobs. But for people that are using the transport system, it is a bit of a different experience than before. Soap dispensers are being installed across all stations. And Transport for London is asking people to wear face masks. It is important to note though, it is not a requirement by law. Despite that increase in people using the network, you can see it is still much quieter here on the ticket platform than it normally would be. Indeed, millions of people are still choosing to stay at home, meaning food shops like this one and other concessions at stations are being kept closed and station staffing is being kept at a minimum. Well, here on the platform, people getting on trains or off trains, as we've just seen, are being asked to keep their social distancing. Stickers are all along the platform reminding people to keep two metres apart. Well, if we look at how Parisian commuters are returning to work on their public transport system, my colleague Oliver whitfield Mirchit joins us from Paris. Thanks, Trent. Well, you'd barely be able to tell that this is a rush hour train because there's so few people who are on board compared to normal. Usually this would be full of bankers returning from the financial district in Paris, but at the moment, as you can see, it's not even a quarter full. The authorities here have put stickers both on the floor and on seats to show people where they need to be for social distancing to take effect. Now, this is not always the case in Paris, having trains this empty on some of the suburban lines going to the poorer neighbourhoods of Paris. There have been reports that there's been congestion both in the carriages and on the platforms. To get on board a metro here in Paris, you have to be wearing a mask. If you don't, you could risk a 135 euro fine. And you also have to have a permission slip from your employer. That's got to state the reasons as to why you're traveling during rush hour, because the authorities want to keep the number of travelers down to about 15% of normal levels, all in a bid to try and ensure that social distancing is maintained.